What's up, everyone? So I want to show you how you can kick your side or your nine to five to the curb so that you can actually work from home. I know, like, for instance, my buddy Tom, uh, he literally has to take an hour to get to work, maybe an hour and a half. And then he's working for what, nine, nine hours a day. And then he has to take another hour in the day to go home. And then so you're wasting up like half of your day minus obviously your eight hours for sleep. And so you're looking at like four hours a day to build that side hustle. And if you are building a side hustle, um, do you have to think that you're competing against people that are actually doing it full time while you're making a side hustle? And so if you're having to compete with other people, you're at a disadvantage. Not only that, if you're only selling one off products, you're at a super disadvantage. So I'm going to show you why that is and how you can escape the digital or the rat race in general. And so let's get into the juicy, juicy details. And so if we look at, let me switch this real quick. Um, if we look at a nine to five, you're typically doing a, say for instance, you make $60,000 a year, or I think that's about, what is that? About four grand a month, maybe, no, it's five grand a month. Yeah. And so with every single month, so like Monday, or sorry, Mar Mar wow, I don't even know the months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Uh, and if you guys can hear me, go ahead and drop like a comment. I don't, sometimes my mic is kind of off. Um, I might need to recenter it sometime. So let me know if it's if the sound's going in clear so that you guys um, can hear. But essentially, your uh, $60,000 a month, all right, a year is capped at like that flat line, right? Like that's why a lot of people have their nine to five, it's steady. Um, that's why they don't transfer into doing a side hustle full time. And so what happens is they keep at that $5,000 a month. Um, they wait for that next year to come. They got that 3% increase. So it's like right here every single year. So this is year one, year two, year three, and it just slowly increases um, to get that, you know, that uh, increase to essentially hopefully hit that $10,000 a month. Um, and that might take time, uh, maybe 10 years or whatever that is. Hopefully you don't get fired. Um, actually, most people make the most money when they switch jobs, but that's just a little trick um, that I've known people have done. But um, you stay at that that um, $5,000 a month or $60,000 a year. Obviously, it's going to be lower with a 3% increase because obviously the um, cost of inflation has gone up. It's at 8%. If you're only getting a 3% increase, then obviously that um, you just cut down two years of your time. But at least with a nine to five, it's consistent. You're not starting over every month versus someone who sells like say high ticket or one-off payments selling like $50 a month or $50 one time, uh, $150, $300. These people that are raving about $300 and they only sold like two of them, um, which is kind of funny. But uh, let's just do the same example. So when, uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Um, I should have spaced those out a little bit better, but that's okay, you get the point. So uh, with a side hustle that a lot of people do is they'll sell high ticket or they'll, or they'll sell low ticket and they'll do these, um, let's just say that 150, they do like three sales and they're making like $1,000 a month. They're, the first month, they're like, this is awesome. Um, I'm so good at this. I'm making so much money. I added an extra thousand dollars. That's like almost close to my, my job. Awesome. So then the next month comes, they start all over because they're, they don't, they still have their nine to five that is consistently paying them that salary and they do three again. And they're like, yeah, I got that thousand dollars a month. I am awesome. This is the same thing with high ticket. I mean, the same high ticket people, uh, will sell one instead of, uh, say a low ticket product is selling um, you know, three or whatever it is. Um, I think that's how a lot of people are making. But then like the third month, they only get one because then the market's a little bit saturated. Um, they're like, what the F happened? Like, you know, I only sold one. Um, I see the same people doing the same thing, commenting. Um, like it's all the same people promoting the same stuff. I'm not getting as much traction. What's going on? And then they say, God, that sucked. 
But the next month they, they, they're like, you know, what? I'm going to wake up earlier. I'm going to go to bed later. I'm going to, um, you know, maybe not see my wife for a day. Maybe on the weekends I will, you know, work a little bit harder. And instead of getting one, they get two. And so they're like, yeah, this is, you know, I'm doing better. Um, I'm not, maybe not as much as three, but a little bit better than one. And then the next month they get two again. And they're like, ah, you know, that's all right. Um, and then maybe the next month they only get one. They're like, ah, this program sucks. You know, I need to find something better. I'm not making as much money as I first did. Um, and it's just, you know, life sucks. And so they constantly, maybe they get one, maybe like a good month, they get three and then back down to one and they stay this constant line. So, I mean, let's just say on average, they're making six, $500 a month. So they're like right here and they're constantly just staying above water. And that's why they never leave their nine to five because their nine to five is consistent. They just have to show up for their nine to five and they don't have to worry about um, like starting all over every single month, like with this, the side hustle, they, you know, every month, like it's September 3rd now, a few days ago, a lot of people started all over the month. They had to put in that, those extra four hours or five hours, um, maybe six hours on the weekend to get those few sales. And then hopefully, uh, you know, add that, that extra income. And they're, the thing about it is, is they're starting over every single month versus their job. Their job is like, it's steady, it's consistent, it's um, predictable. They're not having to worry about if um, if they just show up every day and they do their job, they shouldn't be fired unless there's a downturn, um, which, I mean, we're looking into a recession pretty soon in 2023. Um, so, you know, take that for what it is. But let's look at recurring income and how that actually works. So we got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And so let's say the same kind of concept, we get one the first month, you're like, okay, that's cool. And then that month it carries over because we, we've already got one and you get another one. You, you're only working a couple hours a day because you have that nine to five, but you're at two now. And so you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm making two, um, making, you know, 200, 300, $400 a month now. It's recurring, it's, it's, um, I, it's carrying over from the last month. I'm not starting over because one carries over. So now you're at two for the three month, Mark, you're like, this is good. Um, you feel confident, you put in the extra time, like you did the second month here and you need to get two more. So now you're up four. You're like, man, this is, this is, I'm almost there to my, to replace my income. I'm halfway there, but you have a, a bad month. One person falls off. So you're only at three now. Um, but you're like, you know what? That's not going to stop me. I'm going to get two more this month. Maybe not three, like I did the first month, but maybe just two. And so you're still one up from the previous month. So you're building upon the previous month. And so the next month, I mean, this is the side hustle thing. This is why most people like drop off after seven months is because they they go from like a super high to a super low and they're like, this doesn't work anymore versus building recurring income, you're building upon the previous month. So the next month you're like, ah, oh, this is going great. I'm at one, two, three, four, five, killing it. But two fall off, you're like, damn it, that sucks. So you're back down to three, but you feel you, I mean, you knew that you were at, um, you didn't start all over because you have three, but you knew you can, if you did the same thing, you could get maybe four. So you, you add, you take one step back and you get a killer week like you did on this week where you had two. So you're just building up every single month and then you're, that momentum keeps building. You're like, okay, now I can maybe uh, pay off some bills, uh, drop some debt and buy back some of my time because now I have like, what is this? 3,000, 4,000 of recurring income coming in. And then you just keep building upon that previous month. And now you're at 5,000 and you're like, man, this is, I'm almost about ready to quit my job because now I'm pretty much replacing my income. And so you say for whatever reason, you quit your job and now you're at $5,000 a month, which replaces your income. But then you get that eight hours back, like Tom did. You get not, well, not did, but Will um, gets his you know eight hours a day back, plus the travel time, plus the other all this other time. Instead of working four hours, you're now working twelve hours on your job, and you are literally just like blowing it up because you have all that extra time. And so what happens is you, with recurring income, instead of this little side hustle that a lot of people are doing, uh, you actually are growing exponentially um, instead of. You know, just, instead of like a job, right? Like this is flat, this is flat. 
um, because you're starting over every single month. And so that's why it's so important to have recurrent income. That's why it's important to build upon the previous month, because if you aren't, then you're literally just creating a, a second job for yourself. This is the second job, second job. And this is freedom. So I hope you guys understand the difference um, because obviously um, a lot of people love the high ticket affiliate stuff when they only get one or two sales a, a year, a month. And they think it's so awesome, but they start over every single month versus literally, this is like literally video games. This is like putting another quarter into the machine and clicking the continue button because it's like, great, I get to continue where I started off. And you're not having, to, it's not game over every single month when you have to start over. So um, literally that's how I built all my businesses. Um, I mean, we, when I owned a fitness company and I was a trainer, uh, I literally would just continuously try and upsell my clients to another client or to another day. And then we got up to six figures. I ended up having to take my, some of my clients and give them to another trainer and split the commissions, which then was essentially building me recurrent income because I would get more clients, but I, I didn't have the time to train them. I had to literally just hand them over to another trainer, split the, the difference. And then I started buying real estate to buy back my time. And I always talk about this, that you guys should be buying, you should be building recurrent income and buying passive income because literally the, the, the way to, I mean, why do you think Grant Cardone owns so many real, so much real estate is because it buys back his time. That's a lot that, that cash flow allows him to hire his team, create the content, um, build up the leads to do other things. So I hope that, I hope you guys learned a thing or two uh, about that. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. I got to go to Hawaii in about seven days. So I'm looking forward to that. We've been on like five vacations this year. And I just made a great post down below, I think right before, before this one, on how we are able to uh, go on five vacations this year. And most people take a vacation once every two years, three years maybe. Um, we've been to Florida. We, I think we, we went to Disney World uh, a couple months ago. Uh, Hawaii, Cabo this year. Um, we're going to Cabo next year. We just bought a timeshare out there. Um, we went to Puerto Vallarta last month, I think five weeks ago. Um, we've been to you know, all sorts of different places. So um, check out that post if you guys are um, just want to see how I do that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.